Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video series, we are going to cover Oracle PLSQL. Maybe you are aware of SQL stands for Structured Query Language, where we use this particular language in order to make a communication with the database in order to do some various operations. Here, in this video series, we will include the programming language along with the SQL so that our SQL will give even better performance and functionality than before. But make sure before continuing with this session, you are aware of Oracle SQL. We do have a separate video series for Oracle SQL in case you need, you can refer to that as well. Now, once you are aware of Oracle SQL, you are good to start with the PLSQL as well. And let's see what is there in case of PLSQL. Basically, PLSQL is a procedural extension to the SQL. That means here we will include the concepts which are there in any procedural programming language such as declaring the variable arrays, storing the data and creating the functions and so on. So we will do all the things here while working with the PLSQL. So whenever you will be writing a code means any block code inside which you would be doing some programming like conditional statements loop and all you will be including the SQL commands in those procedural blocks. When you execute a particular block here in Oracle SQL we have two separate engines for the PLSQL code and SQL commands. As for PLSQL code we have a procedural statement executor which will take care of all the conditional statements loop methods or whatever you have done in PLSQL. While for the basic SQL commands such as select or insert, update, delete or any other, we have the SQL statement executor. So here in Oracle we have a different engines for executing but when we will execute a PLSQL block, it will be giving you a single output by after the completion of that block. So basically what we will do here, let's have a brief look in that as well. So for creating a PLSQL block, we will use a begin keyword in the beginning. We will end it with the end keyword and in between I can write a number of statements like declaring the variable, assigning the value or any insert statement, delete statement or anything. Any conditional statements or loops, whatever is there you can write within this block. If you name it, it will be a named block like stored procedure, functions or if you will not name it, it will be an anonymous block. But in either cases, whenever you will execute a block for the complete program, for the complete block, it will make a single request with the database. All right. And in the single request, all the statements will be executed. So this is how any PLSQL block in Oracle actually works. We will see in our coming videos what all you can write between, uh, inside this PLSQL block but uh, here I am just telling you how the request will be made. For example, if you have the uh, couple of update statement or select statement, so each statement will separately get compiled and will make a request with the database and database will give some response. But if in a single block, if we have three or four statements of SQL, all will be executed in just a single request. So along with the encapsulation here for the commands performing the similar activity, it will be giving us a performance benefit also. So these are some benefits which are here with us for PLSQL. So first thing is the performance benefit. As I already described about the request, whenever you will be writing a PLSQL block, it will give a request, single request for the complete block. So it will obviously give you a performance benefit. Modularization means for the different set of tasks, we can create the different blocks, sometimes named or sometimes anonymous. But each particular block would be performing a separate uh, task. So that is what we call modularization. Portability, portability means if you are running a PLSQL block in one machine, you can easily take that particular code and run in some other system as well. It will be having no problem if in both the terminals you are accessing the same database. 
Programming features, as I also already described, like we have the iteration statements, conditional statements, loops and uh, arrays, functions, everything here, like a programming language. So these are the main benefits here. So because even with the SQL, you can perform some logical operation and exception handling. Exception handling means if you have written your program correctly, definitely it will get executed. But during the execution, it may get failed because of any reasons which we will discuss in our coming video where we will cover exception handling. So those runtime errors which are here while executing a command can be handled so that our execution will not get terminated abnormally. So for handling that, we can include the exception handling and exception handling is a very important concept for any programming language. So these are the basic things which we can cover in PLSQL. In our coming videos, we will see some more core concepts of PLSQL along with the implementation. That is all for this video.